right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another class for today. Okay. I still remain your instructor. Still remain your instructor. So today we are going to be looking at uh, uh, please before we we start we urge you to please do well to subscribe to this channel do well to subscribe to the channel so that you receive our educational video I will go a long way in helping you and we are going to be learning Igbo Igbo language Igbo language if you want to learn how to read or write Igbo do well to follow us up then it's very easy and you know so today we are going to be looking at um a uh, greeting in Igbo means a kele nkowa means definition or explanation as you know what greeting is in english is the same thing with in Igbo it's an expression or sign of pleasure when meeting somebody the way you create just the definition of greeting in Igbo um, in English that is the same definition in Igbo as you can see the note there was written in English for your easy understanding now look at Udi Ekele Kata Pota here that is the types of most popular greetings Udi Udi Ekele Kata Pota here uh, most uh, popular greetings that we do, we Igbo people express. Popular greetings, that's what we'll be looking at. So, number one, we are going to look at Ekele Ototo, that is morning greeting. Ekele Ototo, that is morning greeting. Greetings, that is the greetings that we make or express to one another in the morning. The greeting that Igbo people make or express <coughs> to one another during the morning hours. Now look at it. Ekele, which is greeting. Then you look at Aziza. If you don't call it Aziza, you call it Nzahachi, which is response. That is when somebody greets you, the response. When somebody greets you in Igbo, the response that you give in, in Igbo. That's why you see greeting and response there. Okay, number one, in the morning we say Ototo Oma. These are the greetings we say in the morning. So, E Ototo Oma, which is what? Good morning. Then the response to that is O. Either the person you are greeting will say O to you, or the person will say Ototo Oma O. So, in English, it means okay, all right. Or your, it can still be good morning. So if, if you say if you, you can say ototoma, or you don't want to say greet somebody using that way, you can say greet somebody. You say Ebola chi. That means have you seen a new day? Have you seen a new day? We do that Ebola chi. So your response, the response that the person will give to you is eh. You don't want to respond as a eh, you say abolam chi just like that abolam chi you can see the translation translations in english then if you don't want to greet somebody somebody in that way during the morning hours as well greet somebody as a potala ora have you woken up you can still greet somebody in that way have you woken up and the person will respond eh, Apotalam ora. Eh, apotalam ora. 
yes i have woken up so that is that on uh, Igbo morning greetings you can use any of this expression to tell somebody um good morning you can say ototo oma you can say ibolachi you can say ipotala or any of them is accepted as long as we Igbo people are consigned okay let's move further i will we'll look at ekele here that is the afternoon greetings that we do we both people do and the greetings that we do in the uh, in the afternoon how we respond and how we say somebody good afternoon so number one you can say that is look at ekele there you see greeting you see as that which is response okay when you see an evil person in the afternoon you can tell the person a he homa what does that mean say good afternoon a he he oma a he he oma so a he he is afternoon why oma is good so you can see that a he he is afternoon why oma is good but in english good becomes first comes first so that is that a he he oma then the response that the person will give to you is oh a he he oma oh he he oma can see the red, the english translation there okay the second one the second way of um greeting somebody in the afternoon is ndewo yes you can say that ndewo which is what well done well done and the person will respond to you oh or the person will say okay or all right so that is, is a simple thing so you so can, can watch this video as often as often so that you can keep put it in your, within your mind on how to greet people in Igbo. So language is very, very important, you know. When somebody knows that you can speak his or her language or you can speak some part of his or her language, the person tends to, you know, have more trust and faith in you. Yes, when I was in doing my NYC in Kano, which is northern part of Nigeria, I was able to learn some Hausa language and when I speak it with them, they are happy. They are happy. In fact, they, they relate with me so as if I'm they are from from their tribe. So language is very very important. So we'll continue with Ekelem Bede, that is evening greeting, the greeting that Igbo people make in the evening hours. Okay, number one, you can say Mbede Oma, which is what good evening. Mbede <coughs> Oma, good evening. So anywhere you see Oma, that means what good. Mbede is evening. So the, pers the, the, the person you are greeting will now respond, Oh, Mbede Oma. Now say, Oh, Mbede Oma. Okay, you can see the English translation there. Okay, the, if you don't want to say Mbo de Oma, you can say Ndewo. Yes, you can say Ndewo, which is what? Well done. The person will now respond, okay, or all right, or oh. Uh -huh. That will be the what response. So you can say Ndewo either in the evening or in the in the afternoon or anytime. Just Ndewo means you are, you are saying the person, well done. Either you see the person walking, you can say the person, which is what well done, doing some work, tell the person. Anywhere you see so far, even in the, uh, in the morning hours, you just say it in the morning hours, either in the afternoon or in the, in the evening. Okay? Now, now look at night greeting, which is Ekele Abale. Abari is night. So night is abari in Igbo. Night is abari in Igbo. Right? So when I look at the <coughs> okay, A, the different ways you wish you can greet somebody in the night. The first one is Abari Oma, which is what good evening. Abari Oma is good if and the person will have to respond to you oh abale oma you can see the english translation there ok 
Okay. If you don't want to say abali oma, you can say kachibo until morning. If it is outside people, outside people say say gobe. Say gobe. Hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. That is that is thing. Or see you later. Say gobe. Outside people, not in part of Nigeria. But you both say kachibo. Kachibo. So that is how we Igbo people can respond to somebody like that. Or the response the response the person will now give you is oh kobo. In English, you say okay or till morning. Alright, you don't want to say that one, you can still greet somebody in the night, like the third one there is Rahunke Oma, that is sleep well, because it is in the night. You say sleep well. Rahunke Oma, Rahunke Oma. In English, it means sleep well. Then the person will now respond, Oh, Rahokwa nke oma. Okay, sleep well also. So that is that. So um now the next one is Uzo AC Ekwe Ekele. How to greet. The ways Igbo people greet one another dif differ from the way other tribe in Nigeria greet. Igbo people do not prostrate yes thing is that while greeting we do not prostrate <coughs> we do not prostrate when i went to the north for nyc service i noticed that there are women hmm, and some of their women prostrate but when but when you go to get to the western which is yoruba land they prostrate a lot. So that is their tradition. They prostrate Igbo people. We do not prostrate. We can give you a handshake, but we do not prostrate. Okay? The younger people greet the older ones first. Women greet their husband first. Men greet their fellow men with handshake. Ikwe naka. That is handshake. In Igbo means ikwe naka. That is the meaning of his handshake in Igbo Ikwenaka. Why the women embrace one another? Uh -huh. So we do not prostrate. As you can see there. So that is how okay today we have learned how we we do our greeting, the morning greeting. The evening greeting, the night greeting, and so on and so forth. All right. So if you really, if in case you want to learn, if you have any question, you can. If you have any question, you can do ask me a question on the comment section, and please do want to subscribe to this channel and click on that bell icon. So anytime we release a video. You will be able you will be notified share this video to your friends that are interested in learning Igbo language okay in case if you want to learn Igbo language person individually uh, with me or with us so you can simply uh, reach out to us by contacting us on plus two three two three four eight one three three five seven seven four six five or you can just throw any question in that comment section and we will respond back to you okay all right so in our next class we'll continue from Igbo and alphabet thank you very much